What is up everyone? Welcome to another Disney pack with me. I just finished filming my prep for Disney vlog. So if you want to see everything leading up until this point, I'll have that video linked down below for you. But if you are new to my channel and you are just stumbling across this video, welcome. My name is Becca. We go to Disney quite a bit. And so this will be my daughter's seventh trip to Disney World. She is three years old. So we kind of have this rhythm down with packing and what we bring and what works for us and what doesn't work. So I'm really excited to share kind of what we've mastered up until this point. And if you want to catch all of our Disney vlogs from this upcoming trip, I plan on filming a ton while we're at Disney. We're going to be staying at the Wilderness Lodge and I'm so excited for this trip, you guys. I cannot wait, but make sure to click that red subscribe button. That way you can be the first to know when those videos go live. But let's go ahead and jump into all the packing. One thing we're doing a little bit different this trip is on our arrival day, we are actually going to be getting to the resort around 9 a.m. ish. So we're going to have a full day and we are just hanging out at the resort. So my plan is to change and head straight to the pool and just have a really relaxing day at Wilderness Lodge. So instead of having to like rummage through all of our luggage and try to pick out like flip flops and swimsuits and cover ups and sunglasses, like all the things, I'm gonna have a pool bag already packed. That way when we get to the resort, I can just pull out one bag. It has all of my family's things in it for a day at the pool and then we can pass on our luggage to Bell Services. So this is the backpack that I am gonna be using as our pool bag. It's like a terry cloth material, so I figured this would be perfect for the pool, but let me show you everything that I'm going to be putting in this bag. Okay, so I have my daughter's swimsuit, her little cover-up and flip-flops. You know, of course, it's all got to coordinate. And then my swimsuit, some shorts and tank top, another little cover-up, some sunscreen, a scrunchie, our sunglasses and flip-flops and then I just need to grab my husband's things but other than that this is everything that's gonna go in our pool bag and I can just take this out of the suitcase and then we can change and put everything in our little pool bag and we're ready for a resort day Moving on to my three-year-old daughter's clothes, we're doing things a little bit different this trip because she is newly potty trained just within the past couple of months. So lots of extra shorts and different outfit options. I'm even throwing in a little grocery bag just in case we're not able to get to a washer, um, you know, until the next day or later that day. I'll have a spot for, you know, any messes. But I'm doing a lot of mix and match kind of outfits this trip just because I want to be prepared and not bank on any specific outfit lasting all day long. So I'm bringing a couple of dresses. This will probably be worn to Magic Kingdom, her little aerial dress. And then we're doing the Roundup Rodeo barbecue at Hollywood Studios. So I have her Jessie dress right here. I have this cute little denim dress and I'll just layer it with a little t-shirt. And then another little sundress biker shorts, another little sundress. These are just so easy to throw on for anything. And then again, lots of shorts. <laughs> that way I am just prepared. <laughs> and then a lot of extra uh, little t-shirts too. So I'm just gonna mix and match shorts, t-shirts, and then I have a couple of dresses, her Jessie dress, Ariel dress. Like we've got a lot of options and we're there for four days technically five days if you count our arrival pool day. That's what I'm doing for my toddler on this trip. And then I have another swimsuit for her, her little travel day outfit home, some underwear. 
And then this little bag I'm gonna use as her little bow hair bag. <laughs> so I have all of her bow clips set out, her comb, her brush. Um, and then I'm gonna throw in uh, a little spray water bottle, some hair ties, and that way I have all of her hair things, you know, kind of together. And then this is her little toiletry bag. So I just have some baby shampoo, her little hair conditioning spray, toothpaste, toothbrush, you know, we keep it pretty simple. And then for my outfits, I do actually plan for each day as compared to the mix and match <laughs> route that I do with my toddler. But this is gonna be my travel day outfit. This is actually our portable charger. And I'll show this because it's pretty amazing. Comes in this nifty little case. But this is our portable charger. And this is where, if I can do this one-handed, um, you can recharge the charger so you don't have to worry about having any additional cords with you. And then connected in the corner are all of the charging cables and you have all different kinds of adapters in here. So one for your iPhone, this one charges my daughter's tablet, and then there's a couple other ones in there too, but I absolutely love this portable charger. It's so, so nice. So that is gonna come with me on travel day. I have my socks, underwear, bras, all packed in this packing cube, ready to go. And then this is kind of just a nicer outfit that I'm bringing for uh, our arrival day. We're probably just gonna grab dinner at the resort, but I'm just doing jeans and this little flowy tank top blouse um, for our resort night. And then park outfit day one, this athletic dress. I'm doing a full park day outfit try on where I show all of these outfits. So make sure to stick around for that video, but I'll show you kind of closer up in that one, um, what all of these outfits look like on. And then this will be day two, this athletic tank and some athletic shorts, another athletic dress. And in case I decide to work out, <laughs> I don't know. And then just some extra, like an extra tank, t-shirts, little pullover, an extra swimsuit, my curling wand, my makeup. I decided to use this Stony Clover clear front pouch for my makeup and I actually really love being able to see everything in here. And then this is my toiletry bag. I actually, to be honest, I need to fill this up still. Um, but the reason I love this toiletry bag so much is because it has this hook and I can unfold it and hang it on a hook in the bathroom and it just keeps the counter a little bit more organized and you know, anyway, it's just really, really nice. So I'll have all of these things linked down below, but I love this toiletry bag. It's the perfect size, lots of organization, lots of pockets. I love that it hangs. It just makes it so easy getting ready in the bathroom. The next thing I wanted to share is some of the items that I'm packing for my toddler. And I actually showed these things in my prep for Disney vlog. So if you watch that video, you've already seen these things, but I am gonna use this aerial pouch to put some of the little activities for my toddler in. So a lot of this stuff I got at the Dollar Tree and that is one of my most used tips for a Disney trip is to go to the Dollar Tree before we leave and I just grab a few little trinkety little things. That way my toddler has some new exciting things for the trip and then she's not spending the entire trip going through the gift shop saying like, I want that, I want that, you know, because she already has all these little things that I've given her on the trip and I'll just kind of disperse when I give them to her. That way it feels very exciting and new and I just spent like six dollars at the Dollar Tree. The first item is these glow stick bracelets. Again, I paid a dollar for these as compared to like 25 or 30 dollars for whatever little glow toy they're selling at the parks. My toddler has glow sticks and these are just as fun if not better because we have multiple of them and I can spread them out through our entire vacation. So very nice very excited to have these. I also like to bring some kind of little bath activity for her because we have, you know, all of our bath toys here at home, but then it's really nice to have at least something when she's in the bathtub at Disney. So I found this in the dollar section at Target, actually. It's this little stick-on poppet, and it just suctions to the side of the bathtub, and it's just this little popper activity that she can do. So it's just something 
fun to do and it's you know of course new and exciting and then I also picked up some stickers we fly through these stickers they're frozen stickers so they just feel so exciting and so special my toddler loves stickers and honestly I feel like stickers can just fix any situation <laughs> And it comes with four sheets of stickers, so we have a lot. Um, these are just so, so great to have. And then I also have a couple of these little play pack, what are these called? Play pack grab and go. It's just little mini coloring books with some stickers and crayons in here. Um, and these are so nice to pull out just in the stroller or if you're waiting for your food to come and your toddler's getting antsy, it's really nice having some little activity to just pull out. Again, it's new, they've never seen it before, so it feels very exciting. I also have, this is kind of an activity, but more just to keep stocked up for the rest of our trip, but these coloring stick-on placemats. So let me pull one out so you can see. This is a crucial piece of our Disney trip. So anytime we sit down, whether it's a table service meal or a quick service meal, I have these stick on coloring placemats. So you just peel off on the back right here and then it sticks onto the table and they have a coloring sheet and then it also doubles as kind of a placemat in case you have a messy eater <laughs> with you. Um, but super nice, they have Disney prints, but I picked up these little animals. Um, there's a few other prints in this package as well, but I love having these. Um, this will entertain my toddler until we get our food, which is <laughs> the part that really matters the most. Um, so I already have our little meal bag stocked up, but I'm just gonna bring extra. So I'm just gonna bring this whole thing with us. The last couple of things, I actually found these on Amazon, but these little mini figurines, um, it came in a pack of, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. And they're all wearing different outfits. So super cute. She can just play with the little minis. And I think these will be great for meal time as well when we're sitting at a table. Um, you know, I don't know if I'd give these to her in the stroller because I could see her just like throwing them overboard. Um, so these might be saved for mealtime or when we're in the room or something like that. So again, just a really fun activity. And the last thing I picked up is this pool toy set. So I found this at Target too. Um, I need to throw this in our pool bag that I showed earlier, but they sink to the bottom and they look super cute. So you have Ariel, um, Sebastian, and Flounder. That way when we are at the splash pad, my toddler has some little activity to do in the water. So I thought this would be really fun, but that's everything that I picked up kind of in the dollar section or at Dollar Tree for my toddler, just activity wise. Ooh, let me grab one more thing. Okay, this is another item <laughs> that has saved the day for us. We discovered this before our last trip to Disney and this was a game changer. So this is an LED coloring tablet. So you have the little pencil and they color on it and then you push the button and it erases it. Amazing, and it's paper thin, super lightweight. It does take a battery. So that was the one thing on our last day, on our last trip, it ran out of battery. <laughs> so my three-year-old was crushed that she couldn't play with it on the last day on our travel day home. So I will definitely be packing an extra battery for this on this trip. But other than that, this is a win. This is like, if I could recommend one item to bring for your toddler, this would be it. It's amazing. Next, I wanted to share some of the self-care. I don't know if you can categorize it as that, but I always grab water wipes. I have tried other brands with my toddler and she has really sensitive skin and her face will break out if I use anything other than water wipes to wipe sticky fingers, a sticky face, anything like that. So we always go water wipes some Clorox disinfectant wipes, my little mini first aid kit. I just keep this stocked year round. After every trip, I refill it with anything we might need. And then I also bring some liquid IV with us to the parks. And then I'm trying this for the first time is the goodies headache powder. And this always happens to me. No matter how much water I drink, I always end the day with a headache. And it's just never fun when you're trying to enjoy the fireworks at the end of the night and you have a pounding headache. So I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. If I run into that scenario, I have a really quick solution. 
So that'll be really nice, but those are a few little random items that I wanted to show. Next is our little park mini cooler. This is what I pack my toddler's lunch in and all of her snacks, and then it just clips to our stroller like that, so super easy. And then I'm also bringing, this is actually a cookie cutter, but I can make our own Uncrustables with this. So I know there's an actual Mickey Uncrustable cutter on Amazon, but I figured this came in a little cookie cutter set and I had been wanting Mickey cookie cutters anyway. So I'm just gonna use this and it'll double as our Uncrustable cutter. The other thing that I keep in here is Ziploc bags. This is what I'm going to put our ice in at the start of each day. Because we do not have an actual refrigerator in our room, so sad, I don't have access to ice packs. So what I'm gonna do is just double up on Ziploc bags. That seemed to work pretty good on our last trip and I can fill our little mini cooler with ice that way, but that is my strategy for lunches and snacks for my toddler. I also wanted to show how we pack up our backpack for airplane travel and kind of what that looks like for a carry-on with my three-year-old. A lot of you may be like, Becca, we've seen this so many times, but for those of you who have not seen this, the first thing is my snack bag. I always bring snacks that she can like suck on during takeoff and landing just to help with the ear pressure. So applesauce pouches, I have a few little uh, little suckers in here. These are the zero sugar or like one gram of sugar um, suckers. So I bring a few of those. They also make really great treats in case of an emergency, just you know, any kind of situation during travel. It's nice to have a little incentive. I am not past bribing my toddler with a sucker. So our little snack bag stays fully stocked at all times. I also have our meal bag. And if you want to see kind of in detail everything that's in this, go check out my prepping for Disney vlog. I share everything that's in this, but this stays in our bag. And then I also keep this little pouch this has a few little random things. I have Tylenol, our magic bands are in here. I have hand sanitizer spray, some chapstick, lip gloss, um, feminine products, just little random things that I might need to grab. My AirPods go in there. Um, some empty water wipes that I did not take out of this bag before I sat down to film this. And then the last couple of items, this is my toddler's portable potty seat. So this is what it looks like and it suctions on the back. So it just makes going to the bathroom a little more approachable for my three-year-old. Um, and then that's why I also keep the Clorox disinfectant wipes with me. That way I can wipe that down every time we are done using it. And then I also have our little emergency potty kit. <laughs> um, really quick, this has um, flushable wipes. It has some Ziploc bags, more Ziploc bags, just in case we have an accident and I need somewhere to put the soiled underwear. I have a separate place for that. I have another wet dry bag. I have an outfit change and underwear. And then I have some sticky notes. I've mentioned this a couple times now, but the tip of covering the automatic flush sensor with a sticky note for your toddler can help if they get startled by that. So I keep some sticky notes in there. Um, but that is my little potty bag. The other thing that I will have for airplane travel is my daughter's tablet. So I need to go and make sure that all of her shows are re-downloaded. They like expire after a certain amount of time. So I need to go re-download some of her games and shows that have expired. I have her charger for her tablet because heaven forbid <laughs> the tablet dies. <laughs> Like, please no. But that is pretty much everything that goes in our airplane carry-on for my three-year-old. Last couple of things in this pouch, I have some fans. So this is our little portable mini fan. My toddler just loves playing with this. It's more of a toy for her. And then I have our stroller fan in here as well. 
And then I have down in here an umbrella. I might grab a second umbrella to put in there. That way me and my husband each have one. This pouch, I'm gonna put all of my ears. Oh, this little guy. <laughs> this is my little bag charm that I put on my fanny packs. Um, but I'm gonna put all of my fanny packs and ears and everything in there and kind of use this as a packing cube. But I think that's it. Okay, and one more thing. This portable stool I'm packing with us. Also, don't you hate when the sticker like doesn't come off all the way? I've been messing with it, it's so annoying. <laughs> um, but this portable stool, is gonna come with us. This is gonna be so nice for my toddler to have in our hotel room, either in the bathroom or in front of the toilet, just to make her feel like she's more at home, has a little more freedom. So I figured this would be really nice to bring with us. All right, and these are the shoes that I'm packing for me and my toddler. I keep it pretty simple, minus our you know, sandals that we're wearing to the pool that are already packed in our pool bag. This is what I'm bringing. So these little native shoes are my go-to shoes for my toddler in the summer. They're so comfy, they're breathable, you can get them wet. They're seriously the perfect Disney shoe for kids. And then I also bring her a pair of tennis shoes. I'm bringing a pair of sandals for me in case there's a night that, I don't know, I don't wanna feel super athletic looking. <laughs> I can wear these sandals. And then my tennis shoes, these are gonna be my regular park day shoes. I'm actually gonna wear these on our travel day as well, but that is what I pack for shoes, so pretty simple. All right, before we dive into the actual packing, I wanna show you the packing cubes that I use and why I love them so much. So what I'll do after I have this full, once we get to Disney, I love that I can just fold this back and then all of our clothes are sitting on top and I just slide this into a dresser drawer. And then when we're done for the week and I'm packing up our suitcase, I just fold this back over, zip it up and set it in the suitcase. It makes packing and unpacking at your hotel so easy. So let's jump into the actual packing and I'll show you how I actually fill up these packing cubes. I'm losing daylight, but the last thing will be putting our swim backpack in my husband's suitcase because I already know he's gonna have plenty of room when he packs the night before. He's gonna throw like three t-shirts, a pair of shorts and his toothbrush in there and be like, okay, I'm ready, I'm all packed. Is anyone else's husband like this? I don't know. Anyway, I digress. The other things that I still need to grab for my suitcase for me and my toddler is like all the little last minute things that you can't grab until the morning of. Her sound machine, her little nap time blankie and lovey, you know, those little things that you use until the last minute. I'll throw those in the morning of, but I think that's it. We've done this enough times now that I'm like, okay, I feel confident, we're good, we got everything. But head over to Instagram if you wanna follow along with our trip in real time. I do my best to update my stories during nap time and bedtime with kind of what we've done that day. So make sure to head over there if you wanna follow along with our trip and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way you can catch all of these trip vlogs. I have an outfit try on video coming very soon for all of the outfits that I'm gonna wear on this trip. So lots of fun things coming, but Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited for this trip. I cannot wait. So thanks again, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.